Hi, this is 72 Daystar, and I just watched NBC's The Shocking Reality about relationships with foreigners. And this is uh, not the first time I've seen a video like this. I know some of the foreign community here in Korea are reacting quite strongly to this because perhaps they've only been here one or two years and this is shocking to them. But it's not shocking to me. It's not something I usually talk about um, because it's kind of a bummer. Um, there are a lot of people who are here in Korea teaching English who regularly participate in forums on the internet and a lot of them have a lot of negative things to say and my way of dealing with that was to not look at it because it kind of bummed me out uh, but every once in a while I still I think you have to say something consciousness of these problems of race relation problems of, of living with foreigners it's a problem that's going to grow if anything, you note in the video, there's a professor, a professor Park, I couldn't make out his name exactly, but Park Jun Sung, I think. And this professor noted a couple of things. He noted that in today's economy, we're going to have an increasing presence of foreigners within Korea. So it has to be dealt with in some way, hopefully in a rational way. And this article on NBC's Shishi Gak Gak show is not a step in the right direction. This sort of mischaracterization of the foreign community as trying to victimize young Korean women. Now, let me, let me add this. Yeah, of course, there are young men in Korean who like to try to, uh, for a polite term, date pretty young Korean women. Why is that surprising? Who would be surprised by that? Now some of those guys are prepared to sweet talk in order to get what they want. Some of those guys are even prepared to lie in order to get what they want. But we're looking at a smaller and smaller and smaller set. To use the extreme, and the extreme in this article is those who infect their partners with with HIV or abandon them when they're discovered that their girlfriend is pregnant or and this was the blatant quote and assuming this is a good translation from what I could read from the Hangul it did look like a good translation most of the foreigners who were dating Korean female victims disappeared without a trace directly after the event BS as um as a husband and a faithful companion to my wife for 11 years. Um, this is very offensive and it ought to be addressed by NBC and I hope a lot of pressure can be brought to bear on them so that they will reconsider broadcasting this sort of blatant hate mongering and that's exactly what it is. 7-2 Daystar, out.